Hello to all my Cricut friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel today. I've had a lot of great feedback on the new shadow box card scene projects. These cards contain both regular cut pieces and print and cut pieces. So I want to make this video to show you how to get them cut out. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to cut these out on Cricut Explorer using Cricut Design Space. So before we get started, let me show you how to find these files so that you can buy one if you'd like. Um, go over to shop.lauriewhitlock.com and click on the cards and layout section. And then under that section, click on cards. And under that section, click on the uh, shadow box cards. And that's where you'll find the shadow box card scenes. They're really cute. They come in bundles. I've got them for Christmas, Halloween, and fall right now. They're really, really fun projects. So go ahead and um, choose one of those, add it to your cart, check out. It'll download to your hard drive and you'll need to unzip it. And then you're ready to put it into design space. So we will upload it. Um, click upload, browse, locate it on your hard drive. Um, go ahead and choose the file. We're gonna work with this cute squirrel card today. I will highlight it green and click insert image. And this is what it will look like when it comes up in design space. If you need to zoom in or out, the little zooming tools down here at the bottom so you can zoom in closer or zoom out a little bit. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and right click and ungroup all the pieces. And you'll notice that there's score marks on some of the pieces. So what you need to do is click on those and their score marks. So you need to drag over part of the shape and part of the score mark and go ahead and attach. It's the bottom of your right hand menu here. And you'll need to do that three times, once for each of the green pieces and once for this large card base. Okay, so now you have those attached, those are ready to go. The only thing left to do would be to prepare the print and cut pieces. This little um, cloud is just all white, so it does, really, does not really need to be print and cut. So I'm gonna set it over here with the other pieces, but these pieces are all print and cut. So I'm gonna click on those and just highlight over them. And then I'm gonna choose flatten at the bottom of the menu. Don't use attach, use flatten. That will tell your Cricut machine that you're going to print those and then cut out around them. Same thing with this little so, so thankful for you flag here. Go ahead and hit flatten on that. And you're literally ready to click make it. Before we click make it, I have a technique I'd like to show you. Uh, before you flatten these graphics, you can actually change the color of any of the pieces so that you can match the pattern paper of the project you're working on or maybe change the colors to match a different season or something like that. So what you would need to do before you have flattened it, you would need to select each individual piece that you'd like to edit the color on, right click it and ungroup. Once you do that, you should be able to select this yellow section all by itself. So I'm gonna undo that. Uh, but when I select it, I'm able to go to that layer and I can click on that little color dot there and I can choose another color. So if I want to make the tree green, I can choose green or you can even use your little color picker down here at the bottom. So that makes it really nice so that you can edit the colors to match the project you're working on. Just to show you that technique one more time, let's do that on the leaf here. We'll right click and ungroup and then we'll select the yellow, the or um, red part of the leaf and click on the color and we can change that to any color that we would like. So I'm going to go ahead and undo those two things. And I'm going to go ahead and flatten like I showed you a minute ago and flatten on this piece here. And now you're ready to click make it. It was really simple to get that prepared and you're going to get a really cute project out of that. So there's your print and cut pieces. Um, it's telling you to send that to your printer first and then it will tell you to cut it out and load it onto your Cricut mat in the upper left hand corner just like it looks on the screen here and then cut it out. And then it's also got your, um, you can put a little scrap of paper up here in the corner to cut out your um, um, cloud. And then your brown pieces, your dark craft, your light craft, green and blue. And because we attached those score marks, they're all in the correct position. So um, everything is good to go. You just go ahead and hit continue and all of your pieces will be ready 
um, to work with and you'll be ready to watch the assembly tutorial for this cute card. And I hope you have fun making these because they're a lot of fun for this fall season and, and holiday season. And I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.